All across the world, there's an ongoing crisis. This crisis? Outdoor air pollution. Heavy smogs in cities like Beijing, as shown, has clear and negative effects on humans and the surrounding world. This smog, which can be caused by things like cars, shown here, creates, mixed with sunlight, a deep chemical smog that is very harmful. This photochemical smog is ground level ozone, or O3, combined with sunlight and other forms of pollution. What this does is in places like Beijing, create a low hazy smog over the city. This is also seen in places like Mexico City. The smog has caused people to wear masks and have severe lung problems that are ongoing. These problems can include cancer and respiratory defects the total air pollution in Beijing, caused mainly by coal-fired power plants, factories, and the cars, is so bad it measured off the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's scale. Another major problem with outdoor air pollution is chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs. These are organic compounds that include carbon, fluorine, and chlorine. They're widely used in refrigerators, aerosol applications, and solvents. The CFCs in the atmosphere have caused a major ozone layer depletion. This ozone layer depletion caused a major hole to open up in the ozone. The good news is, after this was found, the 1989 Montreal Protocol banning CFCs mostly helped close this up. The bad news is, it still shows as a problem that we've caused for the world's environment. Perhaps the biggest problem, though, with global air pollution is greenhouse gases. You may have heard of them. These encompass CFCs, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, ozone, nitrous oxide, methane, and water vapor, to name the major ones. These gases are emitted by humans, mainly, and they trap sunlight in the Earth from the atmosphere, which warms up the Earth and causes global warming. This greenhouse gas effect has done things like start to melt the polar ice caps and rise global sea levels, which is severely detrimental to humans living in coastal areas. This melting is as a result of global climate warming from the greenhouse gas effect, which has raised global climate up to 2 degrees Celsius already. This is expected to go up and have many more detriments on our environment. There are ways to slow this down and stop it, and one of the biggest ways is investing in renewable energy. Renewable energy, unlike coal burning, does not produce dangerous fumes that get into our atmosphere. But how can you help? A major way you can help is just by reducing your household carbon emissions. This can be done by simple things, like biking into work one day, taking public transit around, and reducing the use of your car through that. Another way to do it is to eat less meat. Meat on average has a very high carbon emission scale because the animals have to be raised and then shipped and then the meat has to be shipped to you. By using a little less meat or eating locally sourced meat and veggies, you can reduce a major source of carbon emissions in this world. Although it could be to you a minor impact, overall this can have a major impact on the world in reducing climate change. Climate change and outdoor air pollution is clearly a big problem in this world. But hopefully, by learning more about it and learning what you can do to combat it, you can help fix this problem.